Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trihack Me. The time the record of this recording is Friday. Happy Friday. I'm gonna do this one before I head to the gym. So today we're gonna learn Burp Suite other modules. We're still in the web fundamentals path. Okay, yes, uh, let me exit this. So yeah, take a dive into some of the Burp Suite lesser known modules. Uh, I already load my attack box. And yeah, let's get right to it. Task one, introduction outline or start a machine. And uh, it says, if you're not using attack box, want to connect VPN, you can go to this IP address. So you can complete that. As always, guys, I recommend um, reading through all these tasks so you get a full understanding what this module is all about. So task two overview, let's go split screen. I already load my burp sweep. I was loading guys, I uh, just want to let you know, I have no IT experience right now, but I'm showing you guys how I solve these problems, my thought process, and I like doing this stuff. So, all right, it says, let's go decoder. I could split this, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. So it talks about this you follow along and just talk about this box right here and it says input data and decode let's see smart decode let's try this oh add data input duplicate See deep the cool as yeah. Try and make it the same, but deco as plain or URL HTML. But yeah, task two says familiar side with the decoder interface. You just keep complete. Then task three, decoder encoding and decoding. So it just talks about this option right here, plain URL, HTML, just explains different types of decoding process, base 64, ASIC, AS, ASC, two hex, G script. For example, you could follow along testing g zip and decode as g zip or is it encode as g zip something like that text text or follow long burp sweep decoder See, it's converted to to convert to hex. Wait, hold on. Encode it as hex. Then into auto. Yeah, there you go. About the same. You can't see it, guys. You can actually zoom in. But I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's, you just need to follow along. That's pretty much it. Then it just talks about hex. So it looks about the same. Smart decode. We'll actually go text, smart decode. Well, it's not, 
it just talks about different options. So let's go to the questions below. So it's base 64 encode the phrase, let's start simple. It's a part of goals. You can just type it in or copy and paste, but I'll just do that. Let's start simple and it says base encode 64. And what's the base 64 encoder version of this text? Should be a correct answer. The next question is you are URL decode this data. Okay, let's copy this. Paste on the clipboards. And it says decode URL. And it says question what is the plain text return? You can copy, it's called next decoding. Pretty easy. The next one says use smart decode to decode this data. So copy and copy this again. Clipboard. And let me delete this. It says use smart decode right here. And what is the decoded text? And the last one is 47. And this is last questions, encode this phrase, encoding challenge. Okay. And coding challenge. Start with base 64 encoding. Okay. Encode as base 64. Take the output of this and convert it into ASC hex. So that's, wait, let's see, hold on, let's see. Convert it to on, text, wait, hex, then encode it into opto. I think I got this right. No, I didn't, okay. So take the output, okay, of this. Or hash it to hold this one, decode it to hex, then encode it to octo. Encoding challenge, start with encode as base64. So take the output and convert it into hex. Okay, finally the hex string to octo. That's not correct then, I have no idea. Okay, or text. All right, base 64, or is it decoded to hex? Then encode it to octo. Mm. All right, I think I'm having trouble with this. Let's try again. Start with encoding to base 64, so I got that. Take the output of this and convert it to into Alright, convert it into a sig hex. Okay. 
finally encode it as auto. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. Hex, then encode it as auto. I don't know, baby. Oh, okay. So I got it. Okay, so encode it to base sixty four, then decode it into ace hex, then encode to octo. Okay, that was easy or not. All right, task four decoder hashing. All right, so it's talking about MD5 algorithm. Let's see, let's see, what's this? All about. So it talks about history and stuff, depreciate, decoder, burp sweep. So this one just talking about follow along MD5. Is it five? So and hash it to MD5. Got the same. Same thing. Food process seen here. Just finished by applying A6 encoding. So you get encoding. So you follow along, it will look the same, and then you encode as it. Same thing. All right, practical. Answer questions below. Use decoder with the SHA-256 hash sum of phrase. Let's get hashing. All right. Let's get hashing. Convert this into hex or decode. Nope, or encode. All right, this should be right. Let's get hash and convert this to. X. Okay. Hash two fifty six. Okay, let's see. Hash two fifty six. Then enco as that. All right, that should be all right. Okay or not? Or is it decode? All right. I'm pretty sure I'm getting this wrong. So hash. Shaw has 256. And convert it into basic hex. I'm not getting this. Or is it decode? Or smart decode? 
Okay, I must be getting it wrong. Let's see. Let's get hashing. Let's try this one. Copy and there. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. Must be the copy and paste something. Next one is generate MD4 hash sum of the phrase insecure algorithm. So I'm just gonna copy this, just making sure that everything's on the same page. So insecure algorithms. First, this is hash to MD4. All right, then encode this base64. And All right, the next one says first download touch. So you can go to the command box and hold on, let's see. W get, so we're gonna download the file. There you go. So if you check the root home, there's your file, right click, extract here, and there's keys. So there's four keys. So after getting that, it says now read the problem specification below. Some joker has messed with my SSH key. There are four keys in the directory. I have no idea which one's the real one. The MD5 hash sum for my key is this key finder for me. Copy, hint, copy and paste each of the keys in the decoder and hash them with MD5 algorithm one by one. You are looking for the key that has that has an MD5 hash sum equal to one question. Make sure you don't remove the final line. All right. So you could do the hard way, but I believe there's the easy way. So I think you go see Linux way of MD5 sum hash and it says right here you can type the command MD5 sum for quicker so what I did is so you list okay there's the folders Okay, CD keys. This again, there's four. So MD5 sum key one. And you're trying to match this. Start with 3166. So again, two, nope, three. And look at that. This is four just in case. So quick answer is key three. All right, guys. Yeah, task four is finished. Task five, compare overview. And this one just talks about compare this whole box, so item one, item two. And you just need to follow this along. And, uh, yeah, just talked about it. Questions below. Familiar so yourself with compare interface. It's pretty standard. Just compare. Let's see. Then compare example. It says let's navigate. All right. Let's go to proxy. Actually, proxy settings. Let's turn on the sandbox. I only didn't open twice that I like that. Oh shoot. All right, let's try again, copy. There you go, login page. 
Okay, capture request return on. Did I have the same thing? Yes, I did. Well, actually, let me turn off what's login. So, test, test. I'm gonna turn it back on. Bam, intercept it. It'll look the same like this. This battle condition you use here as long as they are invalid. Make something up. So complete. Send a request to the repeater. Alright. Finish that. And then send a request, right click on the response. And sent to compare. Let's see. All right, and it says in the repeater tab, change username and password. So, for, I know it's kind of cramped, but here I'll do full view. Make it better. And what it says? Password is W58YSK4W. Send the request again. New response on the same. Response. And send the compare. And it says, do you see a difference? Main difference one one two two. So the difference is timing, length, and login. It's pretty cool. So yeah, task seven sequencer overview just talks about let's see do I have a sequencer? So it talks about the sequencer tab, live capture manual, and the question is familiar side with the live capture manual interface will be looking more in depth at the live capture interface in the next task, then you complete again. So task eight. So again, we're gonna copy and paste. So these tasks are pretty easy, you just need to follow along. Uh, let me see. Okay. Wait, I need to uh, clip this. Turn this on. Yet. Okay. Let's try again. All right. It's on. Right click, choose to sequencer. So notice to token form field.
start live catcher again option let's go ahead how many requests are there 10,000 requests so we're just following an example. So it's auto analyze 2,000 requests giving, having analyzed, click the analyze out, we'll proceed to analyze entropy of our token and generate report. We will look through this task, follow the steps perform local inside setting up. Okay. And this is just a bonus question. You want to use wire chart, but, um, we're just gonna skip skip this. And I guess this is gonna take a while. Once you found ten thousand tokens, capture, click pause, and hmm. I don't have that, so I guess we can just move on. And it just talks about sequencer, sequencer analysis and uh, talks about collect data. And the question just says, take your some time to, to look through the test that verb generate is summary. You don't need to understand all this, but it's important to know to know they exist. Click that. And the last one, conclusion, task 10. And that's it guys, it was pretty simple. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, as I already share on my LinkedIn. Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I'm trying to upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but usually I, I only have time to upload twice a week. And uh, currently, I am active on CompTII certification, uh, the most popular one, A+, network, plus security plus pen test plus and CYSA plus. I think next week I'll do a video. I'll show you guys how I pass these tests. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching till next time.